Hey, hey, in this video, we'll be looking at how to use the OpenAI integration with Rose. Let's dive right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to our integrations panel right here, click on OpenAI, hit connect, choose our keyless version. In case you have your own API key and you'd wish to use that, you can do that as well. But in our case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose keyless, hit connect. Give it a couple of seconds and you should see that the OpenAI integration has now been connected to your workspace. Let's go back to the dashboard create a new spreadsheet. And there are a couple different ways to use the OpenAI integration. For example, the one way to do that is type equals OpenAI. And you should see a bunch of different functions show up right here. So say if I just go ahead and click ask OpenAI, you could also click on this small arrow right here, which would open an info box like so. And the prompt could be anything, right? So in this case, I'm gonna go ask who is the president of the US? and hit enter, give it a couple seconds. And if at all, I expand the column a little bit right here, it says as of September, so-and-so is the president of US. Well, this is just one way to use this. And to demonstrate a whole bunch of different ways in which you can use our OpenAI integration, we've created a nice little template. To access that, you can click on our templates repository right here. From the integrations filter, you can choose OpenAI, click on OpenAI Automation Showcase, hit Use Template, select the folder in which you want the template to be installed, create spreadsheet, give it a couple seconds, and you should have the template in your folder. There we have it. Now that we have the template installed, there are different things that you could do that's kind of classified as part of different pages on the left sidebar right here. So in this case, if for instance, we want to run a sentiment analysis, all we have to do is use our sentiment analysis OpenAI function like so. I'm going to go ahead and drag this all the way down and you should see the responses showing up like so. You can even use our OpenAI integration to classify text. So we have this function called as classify underscore OpenAI. There are different tags that we have allocated, say C-level, senior, mid, etc. and the input as A2. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and drag all the way down and you should see that the answers are being stored inside these ranges. You can classify customer inquiries, bunch of different support tickets, etc. You can also extract a whole bunch of different data points with our extract open AI function. So in this case, the prompt or the element that we want to extract is the feature request. And that's what we have mentioned there and the text from which we want to insert it, right? So that's the text. Again, just drag this all the way down. You should see the extracted text in column B. Say you have a bunch of different text in a particular cell along with a phone number. You can now say extract open AI, phone number and the text. I'm going to go ahead and say like drag this all the way down and you should see since there is no number in this particular message right here uh, it just says not found you can do the same thing for zip code to clean up addresses you can use our open ai function to summarize content and you know create content based on different criteria you can even rewrite a whole bunch of different content as well you can clean up data you can apply a particular task and say to like trim unnecessary white spaces remove punctuations. I'm going to just drag this all the way down. You can also just say like extract a specific name of the company without the legal entities. And that's something that's available. Another cool way to use this is like say the one that we have done here, which is to just convert whatever input it is in that particular year, month, date format. And if I were to just like drag this all the way down, you should see that the same output shows up right here. There are some specific special functions we've created, for example, to generate meta description based on certain inputs and keyword. That's something you can do. We've also created to, let's say, if you have a description of sorts or a bunch of content there and you want to create a title, a product title, you can generate that using our product title function right here. You can generate description out of a particular product title or let's say a set of different keyword input and, and so on. You can also use our open integration to create ad content. So let's say in this case, you want to generate some kind of headlines for Instagram or say LinkedIn, you can use that. You can create different copies for your social media as well. You can use our OpenAI as part of translation services as well and also create lists. This is particularly helpful in case you want to generate some kind of dummy data. So in this case, the prompt is to like create a list of records with first name, last name, and dummy email addresses. We've set the number of items to be five and the max tokens to be 300. And based off of that, let's say I hit next step, you should see like a whole bunch of different data points that's just generated automatically using OpenAI. I hope this information helps and thanks for watching.